So, this is for the brony community that follows a lot of the popular stuff that gets a lot of views, whether it be Jan Animations, which actually turns out, his stuff and animations and their cast, they just recently got a cease and desist letter from Hasbro saying essentially they can't really do any more of this and since they want to play it safe, they're dropping off all of their content from their channel. Now this is actually getting a lot more concerning for a lot of other people that might be trying to make fan content themselves. Because even if you say, oh yes, this is a fan work, more than likely you're still likely to get hit by Hasbro saying, oh hey, cease and desist, we don't want you to be associated with us, even though you probably did this under fair use and parody. So even Children of the Night could be hit up next, so I have no idea how that's going, and you know how long it took them to work on that and finally get that nice, wonderful product that we all saw at the end with the sweet little animation and everything. But also, I know my boyfriend Jitters, who's currently off frame uh, for the moment, is right next to me and has his word and things, along with Zidane with the ringing bell. Yes. So, you can go ahead and say what you need to. Uh, well, you said a lot of what I was gonna say, but. Um, I know you want to say something, though. Yeah, it's just, it's unnerving because, you know, originally they did some cease and desists that were concerning to the fandom, and, you know, people were freaking out that, oh, well, what, what would they take next? But they made a little bit more sense. Like, uh, fighting is magic. It, it was a case of it looks really good. It looks show quality. Um, it's getting a lot of attention, but they didn't want their characters associated with fighting. Uh, at least not like that. So they uh, they added a cease and de desist, and that makes that makes sense, um, I guess. It's still kind of a problem because you know it, it was pretty clearly a fan project, but you know that was one of the first big ones that they hit. The next one was Ask Princess Molestia, which again it's understandable because it was insanely popular and it was associating one of their characters with, with um, you know, inappropriate sexual acts, and it, it wasn't just, oh, hey, this is Rule 34, this is, this is a thing that has, you know, over 70,000 viewers, and, you know, it, it could cause problems for them if, if uh, you know, parents found out that, oh, you're allowing this to exist, and my kid might find this, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so again, even though you have to search for it to begin yeah, with to find it. But, you know, again, it's still understandable if they got enough complaints about it that they would do something about it. But the problem with Jan Animations is right now it's giving this message of, oh, that's too good. We don't want that around here. Um, and it really brings into question what else they're going to do that to. And it's, it's essentially a popularity contest. And also, I was going to say in the middle, I actually was planning on introducing a little review series with Hoi Toity reviewing OCs. My concern now is, if I'm going to be on Hasbro's hit list if I use that, being Hoity Toity reviewing multiple people's OCs with different forms of categories, etc, etc. So now I'm actually concerned on how likely I might be hit by them. Yeah, it, 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 it's, like I said, right now it's a popularity contest. They basically see who's getting the most attention right now. Oh, Fighting is Magic is getting awards and stuff. Get rid of that. Oh, Princess Molestia's uh, got the most viewer, highest viewership on Tumblr. Better get rid of that. And Jan Animations, wow, those animations look exactly like ours and have a huge viewership. Better get rid of those. So, you know, and he was doing his own short series, and he's a great animator, and I understand that, you know, he wants to be on Hasbro's team eventually, well, the animation team for My Little Pony, but, again, it's a very hard blow to the fandom, and it starts to really make people wonder just how far is too far when it comes to doing fan works, and, you know, already we have to deal with this SOPA shit, which is, you know, people are freaking out that, oh man, you're not allowed to have fan work. Well, apparently, we're not allowed anyway. So, you know what- yeah, is really not so much as a fan work type of thing, it's just really a lot of limited access, so. Yeah, so, again, it's just, um, th this is mostly concerning for a lot of people in the fandom because who are they gonna decide is too good next? Where are they gonna start drawing the line between copyright infringement and fan work? 
because, you know, when I was at BronyCon, you had a lot of people from the Hasbro team, or at least from the My Little Pony team officially, coming over there and supporting things like this. Like, they were, you know, so, uh, I, I think it was Tara Strong, it might have been somebody at one of the other voice actors, but I remember they were presenting... Um, I think it was actually a few of the writers. Oh, no, even even John Delancey, I think, was a part of that. Something, so a few of the show writers, whatever. They were actually really proud of the works that fans were producing, and I remember them showing off the uh, Double Rainboom, which was supposed to be show quality, and they were supporting this project a lot. And now they're taking away projects like this. They're, they're taking away people's freedoms when they were giving us a lot of support in the first place. A lot of the team um, on the My Little Pony staff has made it very abundantly clear that they absolutely love a lot of the, the work that fans put into this show. And if we're not allowed to do that anymore because of Hasbro, then what are we supposed to do? Because the reason, one of the strongest reasons that this fandom is as big as it is is because of the fan works bringing everybody together and people putting more effort into a fandom than honestly any other fandom I've really seen. Um, you know, you got some pretty powerful fandoms out there doing some pretty big stuff, but not at the level that I've, and, and numbers that I've seen in My Little Pony. Well, so another thing was that um, I go to a furry convention over in Rosemont, Illinois, Midwest Fur Fest. A friend of mine actually hosts a pony panel, or My Little Pony panel, sorry. It's just, it was that originally he was able to show fan content and a little bit of show content, but then, of course, after that, Hasbro sent the convention staff a um, contact letter, I'm not really sure which type it was, saying can't show content, but I'm sure that's understandable because that is copyright, and usually you need licensing to present such content at a public space. Now with FanWorks, uh, the convention themselves get a little paranoid about that because they're thinking, okay, we can't show actual copyrighted content, so FanWork content, that might also mean something else that could go wrong, whether it be fan art or whatever. So unfortunately, my friend was kind of left to uh, just a lot of discussion instead of showing content to present saying, hey, look at this great thing the fandom did, and they did this, they did that. He was kind of going like, okay, so something, something, something convention, um, he kept trying to keep it going, even though he was really losing his mind, after trying to get things organized and finding out, oh hey, you can't actually present that. It's kind of where we're kind of sitting right now, it's like, okay, we're gonna kind of sit nervously and hope they don't say anything yeah. regardless. And I know a lot of people are already panicking, backing up all their favorite stuff, and finding alternate websites to post them on, and hosting. Uh, I saw some people on Equestria Daily talking about, um making a brony specific torrent which is just it's that's a bad idea because that's going to be targeted almost immediately yeah, that's pirating um just for flat out yeah it's it, file sharing it has gotten a little bit on its side but no, you can go that's, that far that's going too far that's but, pushing it. but yeah people are panicking they're backing things up um uh they're they're looking for alternate uh ways of sharing their content without you know having you know being spotted as easily, um, hosting on alternate websites like um, I know Friendship is Witchcraft had to be uh, hosted on a different website. Um, yeah, but then they're also using show content at the same time, and that's also licensing and copyright. Yeah, but it, it's just at this point, uh, I think we can safely say that a lot of people are very nervous on, well, am I going to be next? And that is not a feeling that we should have and it's really disheartening to know that even if you say fair use and parody at the same time if you're going to chase hasbro more than likely if you want to work with them you might kind of be on their bad side because you chased after them even though you could be essentially in the right yeah so and and if you are in the right you're going to need a lot of money to prove it yeah because that's a big company you're going against regardless yeah, so, you know, a lot of people are just kind of left defenseless in this situation. So, you know, best advice is just keep your fingers crossed and try not to get too good. Which kind of sucks. You want to actually be good and you want to be noticed because you want to actually make something of, out of what you're making because if you make something great and you're happy with it, it's more awesome when you got all the people saying, hey, that's awesome! But then it's going to suck when Hasbro just says, it's, Oh, hey, you kind of put that there. You can't have that. Sorry. It's too good. You're not allowed to show it to anybody. Ever. 
It's like, dude, I made this for fun and for the community, for our yeah. fandom. It's supposed to be a fan work. Yeah. But... I mean, come on. Anyway, that's like 10 minutes of video. Yeah, 10 minutes, but that's essentially all we're saying. It's really kind of worrisome that we're kind of having to be in a situation in a fandom that likely hasn't ever had this before. Yeah, but that's about it, and thanks for watching. Um, please stay tuned for anything else that happens. I'll try and update you guys as much as possible. But feel free to share this, like this, subscribe, whatever. Keep paying attention and keep letting people know what things are going on what the opinions are, what the status is. But other than that, you guys have a good night, good morning, a good afternoon, whichever. See you guys later. I'm Jester Day Rama, and that was Bald Dumbo Rat, a.k.a. Jitterbug Jive. So, oh yeah, he was sitting over here before, I'm sorry. So now he's over there. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so you guys have a good one.